Hello, this is Sakari from OmniGeometry. In this video we are going to be showcasing how to use the layers functionality and uh, what kind of different things you can do with the layers currently and how to use it efficiently. So here, uh, like you can see, I have a, I have made a basic scene here, nice, nice basic six number based scene. I like the number six, it's beautiful. So, um, here we can see the layer container and, and in this scene, like you can see, we have six layers and layer one is selected currently. This number means uh, multiple selection, no, so now we don't have any multiple layers selected. So the basic functionality is uh, you can select uh, multiple layers by holding down the shift key and selecting with the mouse like this. And now you can see we have three layers selected. Or you can use the keyboard with the shift and J and K. So the J and K are there to help you keep your fingers on the center keyboard row. So with shift and J and K you can select upwards and downwards more layers. Now I have all the layers selected. I can see all selected here in the layer info also. So this way I can I can J and K I can select the active layer and then and with shift J it selects upwards upwards from here and K selects downwards so for example if I want to select all these blue layers I'm gonna choose this and and uh, shift K three and now now I'm modifying only only these uh, blue layers here let's take it back with undo so you can also use uh, shift um, shift page up page down to select this also works for selecting the active layer or you can use um, if you're if you're used to use uh, holding your hand on the left side of the keyboard and want to make it easier you can use shift and a and z so this will also select so you have three ways to select layers just to make it easy and um, and also with um, with the space key uh, for example now I'm adjusting this one layer let's put it somewhere nice like there and um, now if I want to select all the layers I sp press space key so this this will always uh, space will toggle toggle between current layer and all the layers and this is multiple layers so there's a bit of difference between because we also have the shift space which is modify all this means shift shift space will always modify all the layers the like i show you here i select these three layers and now if i press if i um if i actually if i select with the just with the space select all and now i copy these layers uh it's only uh modifying the original tr layers i selected not the new ones i copied but uh, with with uh, modify all, uh, if if I copy with modify all on, it will always uh, modify. It will copy the layers and then select those for modification all. So there's there's a slight difference. Let's go back to the original state and here, yeah. So. What if, uh, for example, what if I would like to just modify the blue layers and not the red ones or the pink ones? So I can do for that. There is a nice, nice feature. Uh, so here I can cl clearly see that uh, part of the la layers are blue and part of red. But uh, let's actually delete. I'll show you with a simple way. I delete like uh, let's just have three six layers here so you can delete layers with control X and now we have here these three layers that are blue so one nice trick you can do is uh, you can select these three layers and you're modifying only the blue ones and um, then, then when you, um, if I would like to easily switch to just modifying the red ones, because I know I only have blue ones and red ones, and they're ordered in certain order. So now I can press um, Shift Control, and that will 
reverse reverse the active layer selection. So this will always reverse the layer selection. For example, if I have only this one selected, I press Shift Control, all the other ones will be now selected. So with this, you can easily like isolate layers. So for example, if I want to just uh, adjust this one layer and then change all the other layers, I press Shift Control, and and now. I can just touch the other layers. So this is a nice nice way to isolate those layers, like uh, Chuck Norris would say, maybe. So <laughs> anyway, and uh, um, one other, other, other thing to keep in, uh, keep, uh, in mind is um, multiple selection uh, has this feature where if I select these layers and, and press toggle, toggle, and if I would have these two layers would have points, for example, drawn, but this one didn't, and I select uh, this one as the active layer, and now I press toggle, uh, what happens is is not what you maybe except, expect. So this these layers are not toggled, uh, but they are all synchronized to ha to the same toggle operation. So I can show this this in more. So if this has the points or any other toggle option that you can toggle from here, that is toggleable. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, then if I choose multiple layers and select this as, as the active, the state will be synchronized between them, so they will not be reversed. So this this works differently in in um, in uh, when you have uh, all modify all selected. So in this state the uh, toggle states will all, always be reversed. So this is just something to keep in mind also. And let's just toggle those off for now. And what else? So also, if I want to put this red one, red ones, let's just maybe copy these. And I would just just in generally that. Um, how to how to make scenes? How to make nice scenes is to find a nice base form like these three layers that they look beautiful together, and and then uh, copy those shapes around and and modify them a bit. For example, here I can change the line color. Let's make something um, maybe something white. And now I have a nice form, and I copy that again, and then adjust a bit. And this way, I would suggest you to try to find a nice shape. And this kind of like brings in the idea of fractality and repeating of of the original uh, expression of form. So this way, they they all the layers they start to synchronize and they they kind of connect to each other. And now, okay, I like this. I'm gonna sh save this and. Um, now, one, one other thing you can do with layers is bring them, arran arrange them uh, in the scene. So, for example, if I want to put, um, let's fill this layer just, just, just to add some background there. Just like uh, fill, um, like what would be a nice color, like this, and let's make it, well, maybe that's not so nice, but yeah, this is also like an exploration always when you're working with these geometries. Oops, I want to export it. Anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm, I just want to show you uh, that uh, how to arrange the layers. So, what if I would now it's behind all these lines? So, if I want to put it forwards, I'm gonna press. Um, actually, I'm gonna press Control and J and K. Uh, no, Alt. Yeah, Alt. And with Alt and J and K, I can move this layer forward, so it will it will change its um, arrangement depth in the scene. And let's just delete that. It's not looking good. But you can do with this with uh, multiple layers also. So if I select these two layers here, 
and I want to move them uh, upwards I press alt and j and k or alt and um, page down page up so this way you can arrange these layers to come on top of top of the other layers yeah let's just remove those white lines they may maybe not working and control x deletes layers so now I can come back to the original form and then uh, then we of course have um, you can add new layers so that's nice so I save I always also like to save when I find a nice nice form so I can the idea is to save a nice like a base and then I can look at it from a distance and copy again and start modifying and adding to that and kind of like uh, uh, recurse on the same shape and try to find if I like something there sometimes I find something very nice sometimes I don't so but if I now if I would like to go back to the original I can of course use undo but many times I just like to load the scene again because maybe I've made some it's just for me that's easier but you can also of course use undo and um, yeah I think that's that's the basics of the layer so I would suggest just um, if you're kind of like finding trouble in uh, modifying your scene I would su suggest like for example take take this one layer and okay make it nice make it something you like and start from a one layer for example this or you can use different forms for example this we can use this and then copy that you copy it you change it adjust it maybe change the color a bit copy that again and now utilize utilize the selecting multiple layers modifiers and 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 then copy those again and then start finding what looks good so this way uh, it's easy to find the shape you're looking for many times the, it comes from just repeating the uh, one one simple form so if you if you find yourself using tracing to try to, trying to express something I would suggest uh, try to find it from the simplest form and copy that and that way you can always export high resolution versions of the scene and so on because the tracing of course it's nice but uh, uh, unfortunately it's a bitmap effect so for example this is fixed in resolution we cannot scale this uh, but uh, but the form Th these vector forms we can always scale and export in in oops in its original resolution but anyway that was the short introduction to layers hope you got something some good info from this and and keep on creating sacred geometry and expressing yourself with these shapes this was sakari lead developer of omni geometry hope you're having fun with omni geometry and feel free to contact us through facebook instagram wherever or contact at omnigeometry.com to send us feedback and, and if you have some features you would like to see in Omni Geometry. Alright, this is Sakari signing off. Bye bye.